Well, hello. Hello, beautiful people of YouTube and above. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Val and I am the creator for this channel. Duh. Um, I'm joined here today by my beautiful plant Prometheus. He is a pothos and he is so, so happy to be here. Can't you just tell he's just radiating a ton of positive vibes right now. Ignore these two leaves. My mom's been taking semi care of him and that was that was my first mistake. If you're new here, hey girl, what's good? If you're not new here, welcome back. It's so, so glad to see you. So, so glad to see you. I'm so, so glad to see you again. Today, we're going to be talking about a recurring theme that I've experienced throughout my life and then as well, something that has been kind of recurring a lot as of right now. I feel like because of the virus situation, a lot of people are falling into different mentalities and finding new vices, but also virtues within their life. So I just thought that I would shed a little bit of light on this topic to maybe alleviate some of the burden it feels to talk about like serious topics kind of like this. Two, to raise awareness on this topic because literally I was totally unaware of everything that I'm about to tell you up until like last year when I started going to therapy. And three, which kind of goes along with two, to share some of my personal experiences that I've had with this topic and then dive in a little bit deeper, maybe start a conversation between you and me about maybe your experiences if you'd be willing to share. I should probably pose for a thumbnail before I forget. Wait, what is the title of this video again? Okay, that's all I have to say, so without further ado, let's just dive right in. So the first thing that I want to touch on in regards to unfair comparison, first time I've said that in this video, is what it is, how I found out about it, and why I'm bringing it up at all. So what is unfair comparison? It kind of like how whenever I was posing in my thumbnail just now, I was kind of like symbolizing or showcasing that I was comparing myself to this plant right so that's unfair for multiple reasons first of all i'm a breathing living person and this is a breathing living plan we both have different limitations we both have different purposes in life you know i exhale co2 he exhales oxygen if he's in photosynthesis and ultimately our dynamics are completely different and we just a person is not the same thing as a plant and i know that that seems pretty like far-fetched but that's what unfair comparison is. It doesn't just have to be with a plant, it can be with absolutely anything or anyone. Some easy examples of things that people may compare themselves to are siblings, if they have some, their parents, if their parents have had a lot of success, their friends, mentors, people they look up to, et cetera, et cetera. And comparison can be a driving force to get better and it can motivate a person to continue to achieve bigger and better things, so that's really, really good. However, unfair comparison is also one of the 12 main anxiety drivers for most people. It's a pretty unhealthy thought pattern. It's pretty much a person going along with the fact that two different people or two different entities have had completely different lives, circumstances, and every little second of their lives has been pretty much completely different. And even still, comparing yourself and saying, hey, why is this one aspect of my life not like this other person's or this other thing? And that's pretty unfair right you don't have control over the circumstances in your life so why like should you even consider those right you should only consider what is in your control well, unfortunately everything whether it's in or out of our control does affect us so we do have to kind of like consider that whenever we're thinking and engaging in an unfair comparison thought pattern and say like hey hold on like give me a second wait is this an actually fair comparison is this person older than me what are the circumstances in this person's lives been what do i have that they don't have and kind of considering like a more wholesome round approach to comparing yourself to somebody rather than just saying oh this one thing is different for me than this one thing for that other person because there are so many things that make up a person it's not just one thing and everybody is totally and completely different so why give the nature of our lives and people the power to bring you down you ultimately have a choice in your thought patterns right sometimes whenever we're overwhelmed with emotions it can feel like we don't have control but ultimately all emotions are temporary so once you get back to that stable state it is something that you're able to work on even though at other points in your life or at other points in time maybe you aren't able to actually shift your mindset okay so digressing from that and moving on to how I found out about unfair comparison um, so when I first started going to therapy for anxiety I was given this sheet of paper with the top 10 anxiety thought patterns so not the top 12 that I was talking about earlier the top 10 patterns and one of those in there was unfair comparison and the way that my therapist explained it to me is basically she said why would you compare yourself at this point I was just starting to go into college she was like why would you compare the beginning of your freshman college career to the career of a seniors they're probably getting an internship they're probably starting to look for a job they're probably trying to figure out the next steps after they graduate and why would I compare them who probably have their stuff figured out 
to me as a freshman who lacks all the experience and all the knowledge that they have and all the exposure that they have. Like, why would I make that comparison? Anyway, that's just a little anecdote, but that's how I personally found out about unfair comparison. And thank God that I did because it has helped me out a lot with my anxiety and controlling kind of like negative and toxic thought patterns. I really feel like recognition is a huge thing for becoming more aware of your thoughts and what's healthy and what's unhealthy. But yes, moving on from that, we do want to keep this video rather short. Why am I talking about this today? Number three, this is gonna be a little bit of a rant. I'm just gonna shade myself here because I, I already know what this is gonna turn into. So recently I was speaking with somebody about vices. Vices are things that you essentially take too far to the point of maybe like addiction or overindulgence, right? So in ethics, there's this scale that on one side says, virtue and on the other side says bye. A virtue is pretty much the purest form of a good thing. It can be like generosity, respect, honesty, love, etc. And then on the side of vices is the opposite, the purest form of things that are not the best. So overindulgence, overexertion, disrespect, rudeness, etc, etc. And then in the middle there's something called the golden mean which is like the balance in between both of the things which is supposedly like a happy medium. And we're all striving to be at this golden mean because this is where you are the healthiest is in mind, body, and spirit, supposedly according to ethical theory. And you might be like, wait, that makes no sense. How can being respectful or being generous or being honest be a bad thing? Well, think about it like this. If you're too honest, you may come off as excitable. You may say things that maybe offend other people because they're just thoughts that cross your mind, right? That's what honesty is. You're just saying truly how you feel about something and maybe you don't feel exactly perfect about every single situation all the time with everything so and of course being too honest would not be a good thing that happy medium is where it's at i'm telling you and so i was talking with someone recently and pretty much the takeaway that i got from it was is being on one side of the spectrum better than being on the other side so is it better to have too much of a good thing or too much of a bad thing like is an addiction to gambling the same thing as an addiction to giving all your money away to charity and is it better to have one or the other so in my opinion i truly was having a hard time comparing the addiction to giving away money to charity to the addiction to gambling because i just feel like this one ultimately ends up in other people getting good things and then this one ends up in the casino having a lot of money or wherever you're gambling having a lot of money but the person i was arguing with was thinking the opposite so after a lot of thought after like a whole night of just debating about this in my head i came to the realization that it's an unfair comparison having too much of a good thing is not really of the same nature as having too much of a bad thing they're absolutely completely different and even though me and this person were having this debate about something that seems so simple like a scale and which side of the scale is it better to be on it's the same scale it should be a fair comparison but it's not the motives of a person who's addicted to giving away to charity is probably not the same motives as a person who is addicted to gambling and the processes and the time that it's going to take both of them to come back to that happy golden medium is first of all going to depend on both of the people themselves and actually have not that much to do with the addiction anyway it's more so going to have to do with the circumstances that that person is in and then that person themselves so this is essentially why i wanted to touch on this topic because as people we all overindulge in some things and if we don't overindulge maybe we just pass that golden medium a little bit on each side but ultimately what i think is important is trying to have an open heart and an open mind and realizing that we are all not on the perfect golden medium for every single aspect of life and most importantly trying our best to not engage in these unfair comparisons because they're not necessarily a waste of your time, but you know, they're probably doing a little bit more harm than good. But ultimately that's for you to decide and it's up to you to ask yourself, is this comparison actually hurting me? Is this lowering my self-esteem? Is this doing anything for me at all? Ultimately that's good or is it just making me feel bad and resulting in me spiraling for not much other reason than the fact that it's something that I'm doing. This video is a little bit like my coping video. It's kind of just me talking about a topic and then bouncing around some ideas and then my experience on the topic. All I'm really hoping to do is shed some light on this and in the process hopefully help some people because I know that this mindset of unfair comparison was definitely a huge aspect of the toxicity that I had in my brain in the past. And ultimately as a person and through my channel, all I wanna do is encourage you to think, give you some brain food, munch, 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 munch. New ideas, new perspectives to bounce around in your head. Keep that brain activity high while we're here in quarantine. And if you wanna keep this conversation going, feel free to give me any thoughts that you have about anything that I brought up in this video down in the comments. If you wanna share a personal experience that you've had with unfair comparison, any epiphanies, any realizations that you've had regarding unfair comparison, I would love, love, love to hear it. But that's essentially everything that I wanted to touch on today. I do hope that you like this video. My name has been Val, it has been since I was born. I'm so, so happy you decided to click on this video and I do hope that you decide to subscribe 
and perhaps come watch me again in the future. This has been me speaking about unfair comparison and this has been my plant just sitting here next to me being a wonderful little pothos. <laughs> and we are signing off. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day.